But what I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like a red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my welcome here, and I'm the biggest star around here. Happening, fam. Woo. LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. Y'all see the thumbnail. This has nothing to do with the trial. But the question is the future of manhood. So my lady comes home, to home yesterday. She's like, you know, she goes to the gym. She's walking in the gym. Her guy's walking out. It's cool outside. No shirt on and a bonnet on. It's like a bonnet. And it just threw off. And I was like, you know, told you. <laughs> you know, and the question was, you know, what's up with this? this suspect behavior from all these brothers and I was like you know it's gonna go back to parenting it's gonna go back to the mothers because at the end of the day they're gonna a guy wearing a bonnet is just not something that guys are fond of and it seems like it's something that, that mothers are okay with in and for years people have been talking about uh, guys being effeminized and emasculated and this bonnet comes off as that and, they, and these guys from teenagers to guys almost 30 walking around with bonnets on them. But the thing isn't just about the bonnets. It's the future of manhood. What we're, gonna, what we're seeing right now is unsettling for guys. Because for the most part, you know, I was raised in a single mother household. And the guys I knew was raised in a single mother household. But we wasn't doing that, that, that soft sashaying type of stuff these guys are doing, right? So it's like the guys over the years have got softer and softer and softer. You know, and we people had their moments. Don't get it twisted. People people had their perm moments, their Jerry Curl moments, their S Curl moments. You know, and then and then guys were like, "You gonna have to toughen up. All this all this pretty stuff got to go." Uh, Cause I I'm just sexy, and it's like, man, shut up. Before I punch you in your mouth. You know, I knocked the, I knocked the, the 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 activator out your curl. It's like, dang, it's like that. It's like that. Um, but what you're seeing now is. And, and I, used to, I, I kept talking about the hair thing. I kept talking about the, the fashion thing. I even talked about the beard thing. You see guys who are, who are really, really committed to trying to be pretty. And that's, and, and that's so anti-manhood. Guys have always been dapper. You know, suits, hats, clothes, fly, well-pressed. But even those dapper guys were, were the kind of guys that would get their hands dirty. What we're looking at now is guys who are trying to be you know, fresh and dapper, and they can't get their hands dirty at all. So I just, I just had, I'm badly in need of a manicure kind of guys. Like, yeah, they, they're, they're, it's, it's, it's something completely wrong with this. These guys are, can't do anything. They can't work with their hands. They can't fix anything. <clears throat> they can't solve, they can't solve a conflict like this. You know, everybody got to get pull out the gun. You know why? Because he's scared of getting hit. Because ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to hit me in my face. It's my face. Oh, my God. I put that olive oil layer on. I'm a grown man. No, 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 bro. Y'all y'all dressing suspect. All these guys worried about fashion. Fashion, fashion, fashion. Like, what are you talking about, bro? I'm just trying, I'm just trying to look good. Y'all don't know. You got guys on the pulpit in church, pastors. Like you know, you know Jesus will tell you you soft, right? In the name of my Jesus, you are delivered. Like it's like, uh, where's the future of manhood gonna go? Where where is it going? Guys who are confused, you know. Hey man, could you could you put air in the tire? Oh, air in the tire. I don't know how to put. Do you know how to change the tire? I don't know how to change the tire. Bro, can you fix that right there? I don't know how to fix that. What do you know how to do? Play video games and do my hair. You know, we was, she was, yesterday we was laughing because she said now she gets it with the guy. She said when she sees the guys with the hairstyles, you got the lining and then the, and then the dreads and then the braids. And it's like, that takes a long time. I'm like, yeah, they got too much time on their hands. That's the, that's the wrong, like, guys who got all that extra stuff, if it take you two, three hours to get your hair done, and you're going to do it on a regular basis, you're pretty much on the feminine side of the game. That's it. And then you see, you know, in the content, when, when you have the content creators and the interactions with women, you see the, the, the like, double-minded mindset of guys who are half male and half female, and guys are looking like, bro, why are you doing this? <clears throat> like, what kind of father would you be? You so you gonna like you gonna be a half mother father if you was half kids? That, that's what you gonna be. You gonna be the guy who say, express yourself, Jimmy. Express yourself, James Samaj. You have to be in tune with your feelings. You know, I just need you to use your words. 
And it's like, listen, man, we getting, I'm, this is getting out of hand. We getting too many soft. And then, and then it's so many guys who, and I'm using the, the photo because there's so many of y'all who are trying to be the image of tough, you know, street, thuggish image. And y'all, just like, you know, Gunner and this looking like somebody's grandmama, you know, y'all got shawls and y'all got purses and, you know, shawls or purses and, you know, <clears throat> walking around with these funny little video game shoes, y'all. Look at my fashion, I got the mischief shoes. And it's like, bro, if you don't get your weekend, <laughs> what you trying to say? I'm, what I'm saying is, I don't know where the future of manhood is going to go. Like, I'm, 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 I'm concerned, man. I'm, I'm very concerned. Because something's wrong with you guys. Just let me tell you something. Don't let the skirt fool you. I got tattoos on my face and I got gold teeth. I really get down like that. Man, do you realize <clears throat> you built like a tall lesbian? Do you really think somebody's scared of you? Because you got tattoos. All you guys are built like out of shape drug addicts. And y'all got tattoos. Like, <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Y'all know how to roll a blunt. Y'all don't know how to roll roll and throw a punch. That's it. This all, that's all y'all can do. Swapping spit on blunts with grown men like you mother. Drug addict mother. <laughs> but that's the point, man. Like, where's the manhood gonna go? And, I, and I've talked to girls. Um, I've talked to, you know, I got girls who are single, Girls who are straight, girls who are bi, girls who are gay, and they all say the same thing about the generation of dudes. <clears throat> Too soft. That's interesting. Too soft. And some of y'all like, you know, I didn't have a daddy in my life. Eh, is it that? Is it that? I don't think it's that. I think y'all, I think y'all, y'all mothers made it comfortable for y'all to, to act feminine. And your, and your peers are brainwashed too and they're comfortable with acting feminine and there's no pushback because our mothers tried to try to do soft stuff with us we just wasn't having it we just like ah, no no and our peers wasn't having it y'all peers are comfortable you know y'all gonna be wearing y'all gonna be wearing see after this uh bonnet thing y'all gonna be wearing sports bras for no reason <laughs> y'all be wearing sports bras and y'all gonna be wearing thongs I'm, I'm telling you you know, be working out with, with 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 thongs at the gym. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and think about it. You know, I see it now. It's a lot of fruit fruit pops at the gym. You know, trying to get attention. <laughs> One and two and three and four. It's like, bro, get the fuck out of here, man. If you're gonna lift some weights, lift some weights. Nobody cares about all that extra stuff. And then the, you know, and other guys are like, you know, uh. <laughs> Dude, you, you need to act, stop acting like a girl. I ain't acting like no girl. So all this attention seeking and laziness and, 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 and uh, I need to be happy, I need to have fun. It's like, man, the future of manhood is, is up for debate because all y'all going, I don't know what y'all, even the guys who are going to have kids and have sons, I don't know what y'all going to raise y'all sons to be because y'all are weak. Mentally weak. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it just doesn't come across well. You know, I don't know where this is going to go, but it ain't going to go in a good direction. I can tell you that. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, and I try and catch y'all on the next one. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to tell you that.